Hey guys, it's Coach Ro from RocioFlores.com and today's clean eating tip is about using spices to spice up your meals. So if you're just getting started with clean eating, you might realize that when you just cook a piece of meat by itself or you're trying to eat veggies, they're probably not going to taste as great as the stuff that you get at restaurants or at fast food. Um, and that's just because it doesn't have the right kind of spices. You need to add spices for them to have a good flavor. So I wanted to share with you guys just some of the simple basics when it comes to spices because a lot of the times most of us don't really know what goes in our food so just as a basic starter salt is going to be your best best friend and if you're kind of you know trying to stay away from salt or you just don't want to have a lot of sodium in your life um, I use Morton light salt because it's half sodium half potassium and potassium is one of those good uh, supplements that's going to help you with some of the withdrawals that you might be experiencing if you're trying to detox from all the junk food so it's a great option also pepper so pepper is very very easy to use it goes with most meals um, salt and pepper are just gonna be really easy for you to add to your meals and then two of the ones that I have all the time like I literally cannot go without are garlic and onion powder so make sure that you're not getting garlic or onion salt because that just means it's mixed with salt it can make your dish super super salty plus you're adding a ton of extra sodium and you don't get to control the content um, but if you just get the powder version you can add the salt that you need to get the flavor that you want that is very basic for most meals that are gonna have like a salty taste if you're looking for something to spice up your sweet food like if you're having oatmeal in the morning um, if you've ever made rice pudding or you want to spice up like your coffee or your drinks some of the sweet spices that you want to use are cinnamon and nutmeg and have like vanilla extract that's a really good one to have as well so if you're just getting started and you just don't really know what spices to use I recommend using Mrs. Dash uh, she has a whole line of salt free spices that are already have they already come in combinations for you so you don't really have to think about you know what goes on barbecue what goes on Italian food what goes on Mexican food and that's a really good way for you to kind of start recognizing those flavors and what goes in them take a look at the ingredients and see what spices are used in that recipe that way you kind of already start to recognize you know you know cayenne pepper is really good in like Mexican dishes but, you know, maybe it's not so great and something sweet. So that way you start to learn what goes well, what you like, and what you don't like. And then I recommend buying a spice rack. So I went to Walmart for uh, Christmas a few years ago and I bought my mother-in-law this spice rack that came already with all of them. They were already filled and it even came with this like little paper that you could sign up online and get free refills for life. It was about 20 bucks. It's really really simple we still use it and it's a really good way to get started because it has all of them it has the name on there and then as you're learning and you're growing and you're getting better at recognizing the flavors of each of the spices then you can kind of get better at it later once you already understand how to use the spices which ones you like which ones you don't then you can spend the money on really good high quality ingredients like organic spices and things that are gonna bring out better flavors just to get started, I would just use the seasoning salt and the ones that already come pre-mixed for you. That way you don't have to think so much about it and you don't ruin any dishes by adding something really weird into a dish that it just doesn't go with. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> and I'm sure any person who started cooking on their own has done it before too. So again, don't worry too much about it. Use salt as a backup if you just don't know what to add. That is a good one to get started with. I hope this video has helped you with just kind of making the decision that to clean, eat clean, you don't have to hate your food. Like you can eat food that you like and eventually you're going to be able to eat most of your meals at home with good food that's whole and healthy and good for you. Now if you're just getting started and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to do it, what am I supposed to do, what food is okay, what food is not okay, I have a 7 day meal plan guide that I want to give to you. It's completely free and it gives you a full meal plan. It tells you exactly what to eat. It tells you what to buy. It tells you a ton of recipes and a ton of great information to help you get started. And if you're looking for support, I also have a free clean eating basics group that you can add yourself to. It's a great place for support. It's a place where you can ask questions. It's a place where you can learn, where you can post your problems and your successes so that we can help you and rejoice with you. So make sure to join the group and download that guide. Both of the links will be in the comments below. 
thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you got value from it, please make sure to share it with your friends. If you come up with a really good dish that you're really proud of and you use your own spices, make sure to post a picture in the comments below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have an awesome, awesome day and good luck on your clean eating journey. Goodbye.